Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for M Creator. Today we are going to be creating a sword that gives a player and an entity a potion effect. Um, this is a user suggested tutorial uh, that is suggested it on my channel. Um, I'll be leaving the credits to his page as well like his YouTube channel as well as his name in the description as well as the workspace if you want to learn how to do this yourself uh, by installing the workspace. Uh, do not use the textures that I've created uh, for your mod. Uh, I prefer it if you create your own textures and um, you can still use the workspace to for educational purposes just uh, don't copy the textures that I take the time to make. So if you go to your workspace we're going to need to go to resources and then we're going to need to go to uh, import and then import item texture and then we're going to select where our items are. So we're going to import a ignit texture as well as a sword texture. So we're going to import the ignit one first and then we're going to import another item texture for the tool and that's the sword so once you do that you can go back to uh, your mod elements and then you're going to create a new tool or new item so northwest trees gaming item and then steel ingot so that'll be our ignit um, texture here and then we want to give it a gui name so steel ingot uh, all this is fine, you don't need to adjust this for just a regular ignit item, so you don't need to add procedures either, and that's fine. Now we need to create a recipe for it, so we're going to go down to recipe, and then we're going to go Northwest Trees Gaming, and then recipe, and then item, and then steel ingot. And then we're going to create a smelting recipe for iron ignits. And then we're going to put the iron ignits into steel ignits. And then we're going to go next. So that's our smelting recipe for steel ignits. And now we need to create a tool. So Northwest Trees Gaming. This would be your mod tag, by the way. And we're going to go tool, this is the element ID, so this basically keeps it separate from other elements so you can link it properly together. I found with working on my personal mod that this works the best way, um, that I've discovered at least. So after you do that, uh, you need to go steel sword or your sword texture name and then select your or your sword ID, not your texture name. So you wanna go and select your sword texture, and then you wanna give it a GUI, so steel sword. And you want it under weapons, and then select sword for the type. Uh, you don't need harvest level or efficiency for this to work. Uh, enchantability, I think, is for the how good the enchantments are for this item or the, the better enchantments. Uh, for instance, gold has better enchantments. I think it, I don't know exactly the levels for gold, um, but say something like uh, stone or something like that or diamond would be a little bit lower. Uh, damage for mob, I think this is hearts. Um, not entirely sure if that's the case or not. I'm just gonna set this to four if that is. And we're going to set the durability or number of uses to um, 350. Now, iron tools are 250, so steel would is stronger than um, stronger than iron. So what you would want is something higher in uses for that. So click next. Uh, we're going to be adding procedures in just a second, but we need to create a recipe first. So we're going to create a new recipe. We're going to go our mod name, Northwest Trees Gaming, uh, recipe, tool, steel, sword, and then we're going to create a crafting recipe. So we need the stick and two steel ignits. 
and then we're going to create our sword item there and then we're going to click next so once we have that uh, right now we can craft both items but there's no potion effect so we now need to make the procedure to make the potion effect it's pretty straightforward it's not too confusing um, but you need to go down to procedure Northwest Trees Gaming or your mod ID and then go procedure and then we want to go tool and then steal sword and then attack. Now there's two different types of um, potion effects that we're going to be applying to this. One's going to be affecting the entity that we're hitting and then one's going to be applying an effect while it's in our inventory. So we're going to call the attack one attack and then we're going to call our player inventory tick one uh, player. So we're going to start with the attack first. So what we need to do is go to Entity and then scroll down until you'll see Speed and then add Potion with level whatever and then add and Duration and that's what you want to add first. So I'm just going to add uh, basic levitation to this particular effect. I'm going to let it sit for about 300 seconds or 300 ticks. Uh, now there's 20 20 ticks in a, a second so if you multiply that by whatever number of seconds you want then um, for example 300 is 15 seconds I'm gonna set it to that and I'm gonna set the potion level so this with levitation it affects the speed so this is makes the speed go faster on levitation for 15 seconds so they'll go pretty high with that so that's all you need to do for your um, your attack, uh, how you set up your attack. You just literally attach the potion effect to the um, thing here. So we now need to create a uh, player procedure. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to procedure again. We're going to go pro or northwest trees gaming procedure tool steel sword and then we're going to go player and then we're going to select a another potion effect under entity and then go down to where it says speed and we're going to add strength and we're going to add uh, resistance. Now you don't need to change anything here unless you want to change the le level of the uh, potion effect. Now that is doable, but uh, when it's how it's going to be set up is it's going to do it while we're holding the item. So um, if you're or when the item's in use. So if you're going to um, change this, just remember that it's going to last that after the player is. Um, finished holding the item so we can even set it to 20 if we wanted to and that will just last one second and that'll be fine so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go next and now we can finally configure the sword so we're gonna go back to our procedures and when mob is hit with tool what you want to do is set your attack uh, procedure there and when tool in use tick so this will basically target the tool while it's being held uh, what we want is um, player, so we'll click next and then we'll hop in game after it's finished compiling. So we are finally in game. Uh, we need to test uh, three, well, three things mainly. Uh, we're going to need to test to see if the recipe is working properly and we're going to need to test if we can actually craft the item as well as um, the uh, potion effects. So what we need to do is go and collect some iron and then what we need is some coal and then we're going to test to see if this smelts and it's smelting so it should be working fine. Uh, as far as I know Minecraft doesn't have any smelting recipes for ignits so we're going to need a stick next and we're going to need a couple steel ignits and then we're going to select 
our recipe and that works fine. So as you can see, um, if we hold off of the item, we don't have any um, effects, but if we hold it, we get resistance and strength and uh, that works fine now. So giving it 20 seconds, it's pretty much over when the player removes it from their inventory or from their onslaught. Uh, if they're hitting an item or a, a mob, you can see that it gives it levitation and uh, that's pretty much all you need to do to set up a potion effect. So, I mean, that's pretty much the the breakdown of how to create a, a sword with uh, some potion effects and eventually they will fall down. As you can see, he's died there and died again. So um, if you enjoyed today's video, I hope you did. Um, if you found it interesting, let me know what part of it in the description or in the comment section what you found interesting. Um, like the video if you found it useful and um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys next time next week with another tutorial and thanks for watching.